The Roaring Fork Conservancy approached Colorado Mountain College in Leadville and the Natural Resource Management Program with the project proposal of, to study Didymo on the Frank Pan River. Didymo is kind of like a white fuzzy. It almost looks like wet tissue paper or toilet paper floating through the water. Really nasty. It looks like white snot um, covering the rocks at the bottom of the river. Um, it's really gross, stringy, and very slimy. It's an algae that is native over in the Little Frying Pan River. However, it's becoming an explosive problem. Didymo is covering all possible rock surface area for aquatic life, for fish to feed. And what they're really concerned with is this whole comprehensive study of how Didymo could be impacting the gold metal water in their fishery. Overall, we're going to see a continual decrease in the fish population because they have less and less food to eat. It's just choking out the habitat, making it harder for fishermen, the fish, all life form really that inhabit the river. The fishery here on the Frying Pan River is world class and it brings anglers from all over the country and the world. The Frying Pan River is a gold medal fishery site, which means it's a very popular and well uh, protected fishing area. It's very important to make sure that your waders are washed and dried um, when exiting and before entering any um, river or body of water because this Didymo can be spread um, just, just attached to your waders. The natural resource management students are here to study the Didymo problem. They're out using water quality probes, a viewing bucket, and different volumetric algae sampling techniques to quantify how much Didymo is in the stream. We are getting kind of base data, uh, getting volumes, uh, percentages in the river, um, just kind of really taking good observations and doing the, the more simpler science. There's definitely less Didymo lower down as you get towards basalt. The difference that we've noticed has been a lesser uh, CFS coming out of this dam. Right here on the left, this is a rock, um, a clean rock without any Didymo on it. Um, this is what rock should look like in the river. Um, here on the right, um, you see a rock covered in Didymo. Um, it's very thickly matted on there. You can see how thick it is. Um, and it, it obviously doesn't, doesn't look like this. We're going out three times this year, in the spring, the summer, and the fall. Two weeks ago, the Bureau of Reclamation released really high flows out of the dam, which is just upstream from here. It tended to scour the stream. We're seeing a drastic change in the volume of Didymo that's clinging to the rocks. So the scour may have helped clean some of the problem off of the rocks. I feel like the data that I have helped collect it will be used to try and mitigate Didymo in other parts of the state. Simply to be a paid student uh, here working on stuff that we do in the classroom already uh, is a big deal for me. I chose to participate in it because they haven't really done advanced research in it, so it's just kind of like we're the first people to get our foot in the door. Knowledge learned in wetlands classes and entomology classes and ecology classes, the students apply for the work that they're doing out here on the river for the conservancy. Nowhere else other than CMC have I found a close niche where you can actually speak to your professors, you can learn directly from the clients we work with, and being a sophomore in college to have a direct impact on the Roaring Fork Conservancy's decisions. Uh, that, that's a big deal for me. You're outdoors, you're not, you're not in a classroom uh, learning out of a book. We're here taking samples out of the river.